Most people love weddings. Whether it's the food, the ceremony, or the reception, there's something for everybody to enjoy. And like going through the motions of a theater production, weddings tend to be a bit of a production. <laughs> and many suffer from embarrassing moments, often coming across as awkward and humorous, even dangerous. Good thing it was all recorded. 15 most embarrassing wedding moments caught on camera. <laughs> Doc Disaster Getting married is a really big step, just not here. A few too many people took too many steps in the wrong place. A wedding party took a plunge in Minnesota Lake when a dock gave way under their weight. The bride and groom lined up on a dock with all their groomsmen and bridesmaids for a photo shoot about an hour before the wedding was due to begin. But the weight of the 22 people was too much for the dock and it collapsed beneath them. Dock disaster. So many wet people. A couple of lucky bridesmaids were able to dash off the dock, but the rest ended up in the water. But the show was just beginning. The bride, groom, and their entire wedding party were still drying off as the guests arrived for the wedding. Despite the lake plunge, the ceremony started just 10 minutes late. A videographer caught it all on tape, noting that they were all smiles after the dock failure. The I do's were still a go. But by the time the couple walked down the aisle, you couldn't even tell anything had gone wrong. They were so happy to get married that nothing else mattered. Hopefully, those suits weren't rented and no dresses were ruined. This gives new meaning to the idea of taking the plunge. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Ring Bearer Throws a Tantrum The tradition of having small children in a bridal party is one that many of us love to watch. The Ring Bearer and Flower Girl often steal the ceremony show before the bride makes her grand entrance down the aisle. Technically, this toddler did his job but he did it his way. Isn't that what every bride and groom wants from a ring bearer? The tiny boy stumbles down the aisle, all eyes on him, and begins to look a little lost. Ring bearers are usually relatives or close friends of the couple married and typically are under the age of 10. Having a child carry the wedding rings down the aisle symbolizes innocence and a new future for the bride and groom. As with most wedding traditions, the roots are not necessarily clear, in ancient Egypt, many weddings included valuable jewels being carried on a pillow during the wedding. In Old World Europe, a bride's wedding ring was often given to her on the tip of a sword during the ceremony. But this is obviously a baby on a mission. He gets so close to the altar, then throws the pillow like a little quarterback. The toddler turns around for a victory dance, but is picked up and taken away. Maybe he didn't like his outfit. Maybe he felt he had outgrown the ring bearer role. Maybe he just wanted some wedding cake. Mm -hmm. Stealing the show After posting this video on social media, this groom was surprised to receive backlash from women who said this extra proposal wrecked the wedding. Is the extra proposal stealing the show? One woman commented on the video, You wait your whole life for the perfect wedding just for someone else to make it about them. I'm a good friend, but I would never allow this. An Australian man said when he married his wife, he wanted to make the day extra memorable. So the groom had an idea. He asked his best friend to propose in the middle of his wedding reception, saying it added to a special and magical day. So at a key moment in the ceremony, the groom's friend asked for his girlfriend's hand in marriage during the bouquet throw, with the bride spinning her friend around to show him on one knee. Reactions online were swift and divided. Some folks praised the proposal as a celebration of love, while others were horrified by the attention a proposal took away from the bride and groom. Others were also supportive of the decision. This is so beautiful and so selfless, one said, and another commented they would do the same thing for their best friend in a heartbeat. Is it always an etiquette faux pas to propose at someone else's wedding? But the bride and groom thought the moment was magical. <laughs> Screaming Flower Girl Flower girls are adorable additions to any wedding. Even if kids aren't your thing, it's hard to deny the cuteness that comes with a little tot throwing petals down the aisle. Although the bride and groom are the stars of their own wedding, oftentimes the flower girl or ring bearer steals the show, especially if she's running down the aisle screaming and crying. 
Historically, upper-class Greeks and Romans often included little girls in the wedding procession. They would walk ahead of the bride, leaving a trail of flowers behind them. Around the Elizabethan era, the inclusion of children in the wedding party itself was more a reflection of how culture is idealizing childhood, seeing kids as symbols of hope and innocence. The kid was just having a bad day. Guests appear shocked by this sudden outburst. This adorable video of a flower girl losing it in front of everyone shows that kids will be kids, no matter how well behaved they're supposed to be. Then again, the nervous laughter of the adults shows that everyone was a little tense on that day. In the end, it's the things that don't go right that make your wedding unique. The video, of course, went viral. Hopefully this child's future wedding goes a little smoother. Another unforgettable marriage moment. <laughs> Man marries smartphone. They say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but nothing stays Vegas more than a quickie wedding. But it's not what you think. One man traveled to Sin City just so he could say I do to his cell phone. Yeah, you heard that right. This is love, people. When he arrived in Vegas, he contacted a local chapel to see if they would be willing to hold the slightly unorthodox ceremony. And he was pleased to learn that they were more than open to it. The groom put on a suit before driving himself to the chapel in a bubblegum pink car. Inside the chapel, there were even a few guests at the bizarre nuptials. The black cell phone was dressed in a white case and perched on a decorated stand, which was placed next to him. During the ceremony, the wedding officiator asked the groom to think of all the laughter and good times he shared with his cell bride before asking him to promise to honor and comfort her. When it was time to exchange rings, he picked up the cell phone and placed his finger inside a ring that was attached to the case and the Los Angeles man married his cell phone. Only in Vegas. And while there was no kissing of the bride, this guy was all smiles as he carried his new wife down the aisle. <laughs> Fainting Bride This blushing bride certainly lived up to that name as she unintentionally put her groom's in sickness and in health loyalty to the test by passing out during their wedding ceremony in Florida. This must surely be every bride's nightmare wedding scenario. In a chaotic TikTok clip which has racked up millions of views since it was first uploaded, a visibly wobbly bride can be seen gripping her groom's hands tightly as the two of them start to exchange vows, signaling to him that she'd suddenly fallen ill just as their pastor began to officiate their holy matrimony. Then all of a sudden, she collapses into her husband-to-be's arms. Are you okay? asked the groom after he and the pastor caught the bride's fall and began fanning her face. She shook her head no then stumbled over to the railing of the gazebo. It gets worse, the bride vomited, and here baby nephew pooped on her dress. We're not making this up. Despite the disastrous ceremony, the newlyweds didn't let the day's events ruin their special day. After miraculously managing to get her wedding dress dry cleaned overnight, the two newlyweds subsequently hopped on a plane for their honeymoon in New York. Return of the Ex Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. As the famous English saying goes, a spurned lover in China gate crashed her ex-boyfriend's wedding to another woman, and she was even wearing a bridal gown, begging him to come back to her. This groom must be a real heartbreaker. The ex-lover burst into the ceremony when the groom was about to kiss the bride on a stage. The emotional ex-girlfriend can be seen in a video yelling at the groom, it was my fault, and kneeling in front of him while the bride watched on in shock. Apparently, the groom broke up with his ex-girlfriend because their personalities were too different. He appeared to be caught in surprise when the woman suddenly showed up at his wedding, uninvited. The wedding MC was also shocked by the scene, as he can be heard saying, we have an unexpected situation here, before adding perhaps this is the reality of love. In an attempt to salvage the wedding, the MC then quoted a famous Chinese proverb, if you ask life what love is, it's to devote your life to someone else. The bride and her family members were aghast at the appearance of the love rival. Despite the fact that the groom tried his best to console the bride, she shook off his hands and walked off the stage. <laughs> Don't drop the ring. Wedding rings symbolize eternal love and commitment within a relationship. This emblem of love is exchanged between two people on their wedding day and worn to show the world they're married. During the wedding service, the couple will say their vows to each other while exchanging rings. Don't do it this way, the Vancouver, Washington couple was standing on the winding pier and just had exchanged their vows in an emotional moment. 
The groom then took out his bride's ring, but can be seen fumbling with it before the ring falls into the cracks of the pier. The happy couple was tying the knot on the pier overlooking Lake Tahoe, on the border of California and Nevada, when the surreal incident unfolded. Though the wedding ceremony came to halt, the video recording continued as the couple got down on their hands and knees and desperately searched for the ring. Eventually, the pair were able to spot the piece of jewelry in the Clear Lake waters. The groom said he was prepared to take the plunge in more ways than one. Later on, the newlyweds told the outlet they turned to a Lake Tahoe scuba diving group and asked if anyone would be willing to help them recover their ring. And it wasn't long before a kind stranger was in the chilly lake. The ring was safely recovered. <laughs> Bad start to a honeymoon One Texas couple literally fell head over heels while trying to depart their wedding reception and the video of their epic fail has gone viral. They tied the knot in front of their closest family and friends after three and a half years of dating. Footage recorded of the moment they were departing the reception outside the hotel shows their loved ones cheering for them as they were perched on the trunk of a Mercedes convertible. As the newlyweds sat smiling and celebrating the occasion, a gray-haired man named Dave was in the driver's seat of the luxury whip, throwing up a peace sign before the bride yelled out, Let's go, Dave! Many couples obsess over the countless things that can go wrong on their wedding day. Falling off of a moving car may not normally make the list, but for this couple, that's exactly what happened. Their driver put the pedal a little too hard to the metal, sending the couple falling backwards in their wedding attire, flying off the trunk and landing flat on the ground. Thanks a lot, Dave! Luckily, the bride and groom were not injured. At the time of the accident, there was cause for great concern, but the couple is laughing now at the video clip and sharing it on social media. Fire Alarm Vows In some cultures, rain on your wedding day symbolizes fertility and cleansing. Didn't Alanis Morissette write a song about that? So what does fire on your wedding day mean? We'd have to ask this couple. They were about to say their vows when the fire alarm went off. The alarm continued for almost 15 minutes, but thankfully, there were some professionals on hand to douse any flames. It didn't take long for the fireman to arrive, thank goodness, but maybe it was a sign. What does fire symbolize on an occasion like this? The flicking of a flame evokes thoughts of passion and desire. Fires leap, dance, and spread with reckless abandon. Is there little wonder we see young lovers and remark on their fiery passion? The link between fire and passion is also evident in the expression, light my fire. This expression indicates someone or something inspired love within someone's soul. But not this. Certainly, no one was concerned with symbolism when the alarm sounded. But nobody lost their cool. The bride, groom, and priest remained calm and even applauded the firemen when they walked up the aisle. Good thing the fire alarms worked. <sighs> Windy Wedding so, you've made it past the awkward first date, meeting the parents and the nerve-wracking proposal. Your future husband or wife has said yes, and all that's left to organize is the wedding. While this may seem like a small final detail, planning a wedding and more importantly choosing a wedding location is not an easy feat. Try doing it outdoors in a tent during a windstorm. It was all hands on deck, so to speak. When the wedding venue literally started blowing away, all the groomsmen, bridesmaids, and a handful of family in the reception tent had tried to keep the tent in place, but a few people got soaked in the process. Even if it doesn't rain, the weather can still cast a shadow on your big day. One of the biggest decisions a couple has to make is choosing between an indoor and outdoor wedding. You should first consider the advantages and disadvantages of both. Heat can make a day incredibly unpleasant, and frigid temperatures aren't far behind. Sure, there are measures you can take to prepare, but at least it's extra work, and at worst, it's inadequate. An extreme windy day in a tent can ruin your special day pretty quickly. Hopefully, the unlucky couple was able to tie the knot. Married to a Blanket This artist decided to give up men and the pursuit of marriage by just marrying, you know, her duvet. The single woman from Devon in England hasn't just chosen any old sheets either. She's vowed to be faithful to her white with red hardcovers, though she'll be changing it around when she feels like it. Let's be real, it makes sense. Who isn't completely devoted to their bed? It's not like a partner could give you the same comfort and come hither eyes as your loving, trusty bed linen. But you just can't plan a duvet wedding in your sleep. It takes a good organization. So the bride recruited a wedding planner. But this wedding is still very unusual. 
The artist calls herself a rude, crude, spectacular exhibitionist and describes her duvet as the most intimate and reliable relationship she's ever had, saying, It's always been there for me and gives me great hugs. I love it so much I would love to invite people to witness my union with the most constant comforting companion in my life. The bride-to-be is kept the groom's outfit on the day as a surprise, but her attire included fluffy slippers and a nightgown, complemented by a dressing gown. About 120 people attended the ceremony in Exeter, where anyone was welcome as long as they wore bedroom attire. <laughs> Photographer Falls in Fountain File this under classic wedding bloopers. It doesn't get better than this. The hilarious video shows a beautiful bride in a traditional white gown walking down the aisle with a groom shortly after their nuptials. The dark-haired bride is grinning with delight while the wedding photographer snaps away. What could possibly go wrong? Unfortunately, the photographer is concentrating on the job at hand so much that he trips over backwards and lands in a pool of water. The poor man flails around in the shallow water, dropping all of his three cameras in the pool. Over the centuries, many traditions have changed and evolved surrounding nuptials. After all, today almost every couple does a first look photo shoot, even though back in the day that was a major no-no. This couple hired a photographer to capture the nuptials as they unfolded. Most likely, once the cameraman went down and the cameras were submerged, all the photos were lost. Thankfully, one quick-minded onlooker thinks to grab the camera around the man's neck. The bride and groom, however, seem bemused and quickly walk away without stopping to help. <laughs> Waffle Wife Weddings have evolved over time into incredibly intimate and memorable events celebrating the unity of two people. Vows are a big deal. The word vow is defined as one by which a person is bound to act, service, or condition. Hence, wedding vows are promises that the couple makes to each other in front of their family and friends. But after the groom vowed to take the bride as his waffle wedded wife, the bride completely lost it, as did everyone else. These two seemed destined for one another, him supplying the comedy and her enjoying it. Though initially she slightly chuckles, gesturing eating waffles out of her hand, her amusement over the word fumble continues to escalate to an uproarious laughter. As with many other wedding traditions, you can trace a lot of wedding vows back to religious traditions. Not pancake breakfast. I've been scared of this my whole life, explained the groom, which only fueled the bride's laughter. It's okay, folks, I've seen this before, said the priest. After the bride's infectious laughter was captured on video, the couple asked the wedding videographer to post it to YouTube, not realizing it would go to be viewed millions of times. They're still happily married and recently celebrated the birth of their first child. Roman numeral mix-up Many folks are making pit stops at the tattoo parlor before the wedding on their way to their honeymoons or to celebrate anniversaries. And they're not stopping at tattooed wedding bands. A man who decided to commemorate his first wedding anniversary with a tattoo was left red-faced after the inking was revealed to be of the wrong date. While she got an A on her ring finger as a tribune to her husband, he was supposed to get the wedding date and Roman numerals on his arm. They got married on January 1st, 2019, but instead he got November 9th, 2019 in Roman numerals. His wife took to TikTok to reveal the embarrassing fail, writing in the video, for our first wedding anniversary, we decided to get tattoos. I knew I should have Googled it for him. She captioned the clip, whoops. If you want to commemorate your big day and your love with something more lasting than a diamond ring, and if never worrying about losing your ring because it's tattooed on sounds like a good idea, you might consider a set of tattoos. However, take a moment to step back and really think about it before you get your new ink. Maybe there's a new way a tattoo artist can creatively correct the tattoo mistake. It's almost impossible to make a wedding go perfectly, and these videos prove that literally anything can happen. But that's the fun of it. Just keep those cameras rolling. Your wedding videos could end up shared online all over the world. Mm -hmm.